Most uh, traditional anarchists believe that uh, people should be able to seek non-technological ways of living. However, as many have pointed out, the goal of anarcho-primitivists dismantling modern civilization would entail such seemingly unrealistic actions as renouncing all modern technology and uh, massively reducing the Earth's population, maybe by 90% which would at least uh, certainly benefit uh, many animal species now going extinct or living a miserable life under human domination. Now, even if people found this desirable, in order to do it smoothly, that is without uh, mass genocide, it would require a long uh, transitional period, probably centuries, um, in which uh, industry could be decommissioned safely and uh, people would uh, voluntarily stop having children uh, with the express purpose of being able to sustainably return to hunter-gatherer life. Given that this would require a tremendous amount of collective consciousness, it seems much more likely that uh, people would be able to do it only after getting rid of the coercion and uh, ideological indoctrination of state and uh, capitalist institutions. Since this is the goal of traditional anarchism, uh, why are anarcho-primitivists so hostile toward it? Doesn't it seem like uh, the only feasible transitional form of political organization that uh, could responsibly strive toward uh, anarcho-primitivism? I mean, we all understand that we have to deal with uh, transitional and uh, reformist uh, measures. Do anarchists, uh, for example, support welfare state measures because they are in favor of uh, centralized power? No, we support it because we care about people and uh, understand that uh, those measures are a consequence of the elite's fear of dispossession and uh, without them people are exposed uh, to the much worse predations of uh, capitalist institutions like corporations. In other words, uh, welfare measures mean the elite are yielding to some extent, to some degree, in order to appease the organized uh, pressure of wage slaves. As Chomsky has pointed out, every serious uh, revolutionary is also a reformist.